Welcome back to The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. Let's start our time together today with a few deep breaths and some relaxation. So like, just take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it for a minute, a, a second or two. And as you release it, just exhale and allow your body to relax. Allow your neck to release and your shoulders and your back and your jaw. Take another deep breath in through your nose and hold it. And as you release it, just allow this relaxation energy to just flow throughout your body. And now let's gently place our palms together and rub your fingers against your palms. Feel your fingertips, feel your palms, and come present. Welcome. Today let's talk about imagination and the power of imagination. So imagination is the way that we create our experience. Imagination is the way that we create our futures and the power of a lot of us talk about manifesting and that's really what we do using the power of imagination powered by a or propelled by intense emotion. So if you think about the future, what we're doing is we're truly imagining what that future can be. It doesn't yet exist. So we are projecting our thoughts and our imaginings into the future. And when we do that with emotion, whether it be positive emotion or negative emotion, uh, then we are propelling that future with that energy, energy of the emotion. So for instance, in this time, many of us are, are frightened. And so we're taking our fear and we're projecting it out into the future in, um, in negative scenarios. Uh, we're taking our fear in some cases and projecting worst case kinds of events. And, and then that accelerates our fear which accelerates the projection and what we can equally as effectively do is create imaginings of a future that are delightful or that are empowering and source those emotions to cement and propel and and uh, accelerate that imagining into the future. So what today's invitation is, is to be present to the imaginings that you're creating. Uh, oftentimes we believe that our imaginings are reality, you know, the, that we are responding to a circumstance by looking at what is and uh, then projecting extrapolation forward from that and generate all kinds of uh, internal experience and external circumstances as a result. So let's look at really what's here right now is this moment and the future doesn't exist as as a reality until it becomes this moment. So we have the power in any given moment to create the next moment. And uh, this again comes back to a power of presence to be here in this, in this place in time and space while we're here rather than 
jumping forward or even jumping into the past. Oftentimes we'll go into the past, we'll find an experience from the past and an interpretation on that, and then we'll take that interpretation and we'll project it forward into the future because the, the future, what we have from the past is predictable right? It's, it's, it exists or it ha exists in our mind or our experience. And therefore we have a sense that it is real. And then we can project it forward to anticipate a future reality. But this is really failed logic. It's, it's, um, it's not actually logic, although some people consider it to be so because the past does not predict the future. The past only predicts the future when we carry it forward. So, hey, Karen, welcome. So l what we're looking at is the power of imagining to generate the future that we want to be living into. And how we can do that is by presencing ourselves to the possibilities of this moment that we can entertain using our imagination to say, okay, well, what would be wonderful? What would I love to have be in the world, in my life, in, in my heart? What would I love to have in my experience? And connect in deeply with the emotion of that. And we can then project that forward. And actually, we can just allow ourselves to experience those powerful and positive emotions by embodying our desire right here, right now as something that we're experiencing. So for instance, let's say I, I want to experience abundance. Let's talk about uh, fear and moving from fear <laughs> our imaginal cells. Karen Palmer just said we have to we we need to activate our imaginal cells. I love that concept. Um, imaginal cells is beautiful. So that's what we're talking about. And we get to we activate them all the time. We just don't do it consciously. And so what we're looking at today is how we can consciously harness that energy and use it to. Uh, uplift ourselves and uplift others in the world. So as an example, so may, maybe many of us are experiencing uh, fear around money and uh, prosperity and survival and all of that stuff. And so one of the things that we can do rather than projecting that fear forward, which accelerates the momentum of those thoughts and those feelings, how about if we look at wow, what do I have to be grateful for right now? What do I have that I can appreciate right now? What is my state of being that I can enjoy? Like the simple things like I can breathe, thank God, right now, right? I can, I can move my fingers, I can move my toes. And then as you start looking around to recognize the abundance that you have in your life, what you are that correlate with that. Um, I agree, Karen. Um, Karen says that we're like a butterfly in the caterpillar stage. Um, I agree. And what the transformation is, is something that we have the power to direct. And one of the most uh, effective tools to do that is our imagination fueled by our emotion. So go, getting back to this idea of uh, prosperity and abundance, as we start experiencing what there is around us and and in our our um, our perception in our experiential field, what there is to be grateful for, what that does is it generates a new emotion that we can propel new imagination forward of abundance and of um, of being uh, being taken care of, being filled. So, uh, this imagination thing is something that is really, really worth looking at because, uh, most of our lives reside in our imaginations. And what I mean by that is that our lives are a projection of 
what we perceive what we believe we perceive how we interpret what we perceive and what if all of it what if all of it is our imagination what if all of it is a projection what if my relationship with you is the projection of my love for you or my appreciation for you what if um, my experience of the world is my projection of the beauty that I perceive. Um, we have the power to moderate, and we do all the time, the interpretation of the experience that we have in life. And so engaging the power of our imagination can broaden and enrich our experience on so so many levels and give us sovereignty in our lives to determine the direction that our lives take and to amplify the impact that we have in the world so that's it for today karen i'm so grateful to you for for being here and it looks like uh, no Huddle and Terry Angel, I welcome you. I'm so glad to have you here. And I'm really excited to share, by the way, that um, I have the privilege and the pleasure of uh, doing a podcast that is going to begin on Thursday, April 23rd. It is called The Broader Edge. And uh, with Liz Williams, Sheila Cash, Terry Angel, and we are going to rock it. We're going to be talking about all kinds of uh, things in the world that arise. Um, we're, we're going to be engaging in very spirited conversation and um, sharing light and spreading light to uh, issues that might otherwise not be interpreted that way and uh, exploring some of the difficult questions from a place of awareness and consciousness and i invite you to join us it's going to be on enlightened world network and it as I said, is called The Broader Edge. It begins at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. Uh, I think it's Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, April 23rd. So I hope that you'll join us and uh, check out the other wonderful programming here on Enlightened World Network. And uh, Karen Palmer and Terry Angel also have all kinds of programming on this network, which is so enriching. I invite you to search them out on Enlightened World Network, check out what they're up to. And it's Friday, so I will hope to see you again on Monday. I wish you a wonderful weekend filled with positive and powerful imaginings. Lots of love.